In this lecture, we will go over the steps to add the Google Analytics code to your Shopify store. Installing Google Analytics to your Shopify store will help you to track and analyze your visitors and traffic. To enable Google Analytics, you will need to add your Google Analytics code to your Shopify settings. You will be able to get a better view of how customers are finding your page, which page on your store customers visit the most, and tons of other in-depth analytics to help you find opportunities and trends in your business. Before you can enable Google Analytics, you'll need a Google account. If you already have a Gmail account, you'll be able to use that. If not, go create your Google account before continuing. So now let's head over to our Shopify dashboard and look at how to install the Google Analytics code. Once you've logged into your Shopify account, you want to look at the menu on the left hand side and click the online store tab. From here, you want to go down to the bottom and click on the preferences menu. Here's where you can add the tracking codes for your Shopify store. Once you have your code, you can simply paste it into the Google Analytics section here in the preferences menu. Here it says that the Google Analytics enables you to track the visitors to your store and generate reports that will help you with your marketing. To learn more about Google Analytics or for more information on how to set it up, simply click this link. This basically gives you an overview of how Google Analytics works and also asks you to check to make sure that Analytics isn't already set up on your store. Remember that you'll also need a Google account in order to enable Google Analytics on your Shopify store. If you don't have a Google account yet, Check out the section here that says get a Google account and click the link to create your account. So now let's head over to the Google Analytics page and create a new tracking code for our Shopify store. You can either go to analytics.google.com or just do a Google search for Google Analytics. Once you're on the Google Analytics page, go ahead and log into your admin account. To get to your administrator settings, look at the menu on the left hand side go all the way down to the bottom and click on admin. Here is where you can manage all your Google tracking properties. Google will allow you to track up to a hundred different websites from your admin account. To add our Shopify store, let's click on the drop down menu under the account column. From here, you want to go all the way down to the bottom and click create a new account. You will then be taken to a page where you can enter all the information for your new account. Go ahead and start filling out this information. For my account name, I think I'm just going to put Shopify store dash meditate zen. You want to name your account something that's easy to recognize and find in a list of other accounts. Next you want to enter your website name. I'm just going to name mine shopify.com. The next section is where you actually enter the website URL for your store. A simple way to get your URL is to go to your Shopify dashboard, look at the menu and click the little box on the top right, and this will take you to your Shopify store where you can copy your URL. Paste this URL into your Google Analytics settings for your new account. Make sure to remove the HTTPS from the front of the URL so you don't come up with an error message. Next, you want to select an industry category for your store. Simply click the drop down list and select the best fit for your Shopify store and products. Next, we're going to enter the time zone for our store. Make sure the correct country is selected, then click the drop down menu and select your time zone. This last section here is mainly for Google technical support. You can check or uncheck these boxes if you wish. Once all your information is filled out, you can now get your tracking ID. Read through the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement, then click I accept. You will then be taken to the page where you can get your Google tracking ID, your script for website tracking, and your PHP script. The code we will be using is the tracking ID at the top of this page. Go ahead and copy your tracking ID, and let's head back over to the Shopify dashboard and add it to our preferences. In the Preferences menu, go ahead and paste your tracking ID into the Google Analytics account box. 
Once you've entered your tracking ID, go ahead and click the blue save button. Now that you've saved your analytics code, you'll notice that the Google Analytics box has changed slightly and you can now add custom JavaScript to your Google Analytics or enable enhanced e-commerce. It may take a couple of days before you can view the data that's being tracked by your Google Analytics code. But let's take a look at one of my other Google accounts so you can get a better idea of what data and information you can get using the tracking code. On my Google Accounts page, you'll notice the new account for Shopify I just created here and it doesn't have any data yet. But let's click on one of my other accounts to see what information we can view. Google Analytics allows you to track all sorts of data for the traffic that comes to your store. In the audience overview, I can see all sorts of information such as the number of sessions, the number of users, page views, and the pages and sessions that were viewed between May 22nd and May 28th. To view another report, simply select the one you wish to view in the left hand column. Some reports, such as the demographics and interest report, will need to be enabled manually. But the information that's provided is invaluable for your business. Let's check out the behavior of our customers. Here you can see information on new visitors versus returning visitors. You can view how many sessions new visitors and returning visitors had, and the average session duration. In the user flow menu, you can see information such as where your customers came from and which pages they went to while they were on your site. This information is great to see which pages are the most popular on your site and which ones to create more of. So now let's look at an overview of our visitor acquisitions. Go to the acquisitions tab and click on overview. This menu gives you better insight into how your visitors are finding your store. For this site, I have 82.8% .8 direct traffic, 10.8% referral traffic, and about 7% organic search. Go ahead and review all the different menus for your Google Analytics tracking, and I'll see you in the next lecture.